Uh, there will be a fish to 15. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. Clouds your clock and what? now you're saying no. <laughs> All right. that, that's a good question, actually. When is the first to 15? Okay. All right. All right. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, all right. One. All right, so um, it looks like... It, it is... It looks like Quackbot's going with Team Clockwork right here. Um, and uh, he's taking out... Virgil? Is Wait, it? this is real? Uh, it looks like it. Yeah. All right. All right, so... So this, uh, this team actually suits Quackbot's style 100%. Guys. Yeah. Uh, the way he plays, like I said, is very balls to the wall. He's gonna do it. He's gonna get in there. He's gonna do. The, he's gonna press the buttons. He's gonna spin the meter. He's gonna do it all. He's gonna press all the buttons on his <laughs> stick. All the buttons on his stick. And then in this dimension, and some in another fucking dimension, he's gonna find a way to do it, dude. That sounds very re uh, reminiscent of even clockwork. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. And again with the walk up throw. See, balls to the wall, man. This man is not no scared. No fear. And see, it, it's it's. It's it's quite a playstyle, man. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Yeah, maybe against a player of Chris's caliber, and you know, with his composure, you kind of got to put him in those situations. To yeah. Really test him. I yeah, I think this definitely caught Chris off the guard, and he has to get back on his feet right now. Uh, Morgan, Anchor Morgan is now no no joke, man. Especially in the hands of Chris right now. One bad push block, and your whole character goes down. She gets meter, and he might spend the meter here. I know, I like that. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh wow. And now we're gonna expect to see Quack, Quackbot super out, super super. Don't think I've ever seen Quack Strider, let's see. Yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Oh, I like him starting with the H-Bram right there. Full screen Bram, uh, goes through the fireballs and stops her from uh, zoning right there. Uh, but let's see, what's, let's see what else he has to offer right here. Wow, and just clips some very nice recognition to super jump cancel to block those missiles too. Right, right, and right now, Quackbot, and right now, Quackbot has to be really, really careful about when he uh, when he calls this out, when he when he goes in with Strider, because Strider has no life. All right, and right now, Chris is at the meter disadvantage. Quackbot in a good position right now. Oh wow! Just threw down that, that that move is actually really hard to combo up if you don't have the right setup right now. All right. Quackbot stalling it out right now, trying to get as much meter as he can. Oh, that's not good. Looking, no way. Yeah. Oh my god, very this is nice. looking pretty tough. So it seems like Quack got the first game, and like I said, this team is very, uh, switch style, and it's actually really strong against, uh, Chris's team, but... We and do right have, like that, Chris with the counter. Yep, and, and we do see, uh, an adjustment here, right? We see uh, Chris opting to go in this time, rather than run away. Uh, didn't spend X Factor, didn't spend too many meters, wants to conserve, wants to play conservatively. Yep, and we saw Tyrone there, once more. <laughs> messing up the combos. Yo, messing up the combos. He comes in, he says, I'm, I'm Tyrone, and I'm here to fuck your combo. Uh, shout and the out. imminent threat of Virgil on point is now gone, so I think Chris is going to be able to breathe a lot easier this round. Yeah. Yeah, that matchup is pretty tough. Yeah, I kind of like uh, Quack's decision to go not go with his Magneto team here. Usually yeah. doesn't prove too successful against Oregon. No, yeah. That's... So going with something like this that fits his style too could, you know, offer a favorable situation. Definitely, definitely. Oh, he he taunted, man. He just <laughs> he knew it was Quack's coming. Throwing it in the towel. Yeah, I think he realizes that once his Virgil's out of the fight, it's yep. just really, really tough. Strider's got no life, and he if he has no meter for Oral Boros, it's really tough. Really tough matchup there. So uh, he's probably gonna, you know, throw in the towel soon with this with this Doctor Doom. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what he just decides to do. There's no telling, man. There's no telling. No, never, never. Don't try to put a read on this man. You can't trigger him out. No. He doesn't even know what he's gonna do. Most yeah. Of the time. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh -uh. Chris has his control. Too. Oh yeah, and he, oh. and he decides he's gonna teabag. That's great. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Throws in the towel right not there. Not banned for Marvel. Yeah. So it looks like we're going to get another clean start right here. And Quack, Quackbot's going to... Oh, it starts off with the throw. This is exactly what he needs. Yeah. Let's see what he opts to go for here. Gonna... Goes for the snap. Wow. Stands there and presses jab. Chris, too smart for it, though. All right. Rip it. Right. 
crank it, vibe it, I don't know, and uh, slash it. There you go. Chris is Virgil's out of the fight, but Quackbot is out of X Factor. I can see that, yeah. He decides to use his meter to get out of the situation, out of that situation, bring it back to a neutral state, and and just bash him in the face on a wake up. Yep, yep. It takes, a, it takes a, low, a low to the face, man. Yo. And look at that. Just as quickly as Quack was up, now he finds himself in probably a, not in a, the most favorable situation. Yeah, definitely not. Morgan still has X Factor. Chris yeah. still has one of his best characters. Well, now he's stuck with Strider and Doom. Yeah. This is not looking good right now. Strider's got to eat all these chips. Gets one, uh, oh. Let's see what he can get here. He's gonna go for a TAC. Nice. Goes for the down. Greedy. Yeah. He's off him. If he can eliminate, uh, Morgan here, he's gonna be in a pretty good spot. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. A little Another different. one of the very... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only yacht variant of the infinite right there. Right, right. He actually simplified it a little bit. All right, gets away. Chris has... Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah, covers all angles right there. Very hard. Oh. Oh, maybe oh, he can fly there. The nope. Yeah, and it seems like he's he's very... Very Mark's still nice. kind of pushing, yeah. But uh, the defensive play coming from a... Uh, from a... Uh, oh, wow. wow. Stands up. Jab. Fight. And that's one of those things about about uh, Chris is that he knows when to... He plays it real safe, and then he knows when to just wake up with it. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's, makes, that's what makes him a very complete, strong player. And just like that. Yep. Nice. Like that. <laughs> and you can tell Chris really doesn't want to lose right now. No, right? You're already giving him the thumbs up and he's not even finished. <laughs> yeah, Chris. Clock. Yeah, Quack looking like a. Uh, like, yeah, I know. Like he might make some decision changes right here. And he's going with. Is he going with the Logan team? It looked like for a second he was picking Ryu. He's going with his Magneto shell. And I think. Your call is 100% true. I think he should stick with that team right. because this team right here, Magneto wants to move, man. That's yep. what he does. And, and Morgan's just not going to give you that kind of real estate. Nope, He's nope. not going to offer it to you, especially nope. someone in Chris's caliber. Yeah, no so. way. No way. I don't see it happening, but we'll see. We'll see what Quackpot can pull out of his out of his uh, back pocket, man. All right, here we go. Starting off. <laughs> All right, he chose to play rocks right there, and that shows that he's definitely going to try to play an aggressive Magneto right here. Uh, again, still really tough if you're... Uh, and uh, right there, he's going to... Let's see. Okay, so he's blocking. You know, he's, he's blocking some of the fireballs. Nice. Chose to call rocks right there. Covered some of the uh, astral, but there's just so much coming towards you. Uh, doing a good job of taking the chip without giving Morgan too much meter here. And uh, just decided he was going to... Launch. Oh man, I think he had a read that it just wasn't right. All right. Still not out of it. He still has Phoenix, and Phoenix can make things happen. But Morgan can definitely just suck the life right out of Phoenix and just uh, suffocate this whole team. And you know if that happens, I see nothing wrong with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't say. Nah. I know that the SoCal uh, team is being happy. Yeah, yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with that. I have not. All right, I'm gonna hop off real quick. <laughs> Cloud805 is gonna join you guys in the mic. Say what's up. <laughs> and now we got Cloud on commentary. Volunteered. My turn. I'm doing what? <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling like Kevin right now. Except I'm not on four hours of no sleep. Oh, he wants me to take care of it. Damn, he wants everything. Damn, he wants everything. He wants me to commentate, he wants me to take care of his phone, he wants me to massage him. Wow. <laughs> Let's keep this PG-13 cloud. That is PG-13. Okay. Oh, <laughs> right now the gutter ruined. You know what's not getting out of the gutter? Quack by, look at him. <laughs> That's it. Chris could just stand there, jab him, it's over. I, I can't even commentate this. Yeah, it's pretty much over. Unless you really get the uh, really lucky situation, maybe a happy birthday, it's pretty much cursed. Nah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't happening. So what do you think going next? Uh, I'm going to go with zero, Max, probably being the next player. Uh, Vegas' strategy really is kind of revolving. No oh, way. No, I did not. Okay. Tell me I'm... No way. They're sending him in now. Now, there's a lot of talk that's floating around the venue right now that I've heard of players. And, you know, the talk kind of seems to be around Ryan LV possibly being, you know, if not one of the best players, the best player right now. Based off, you know, probably...